New Year's Day, New Year's Eve, 2015, and I'm alone at the shop. <clears throat> the weather's been such that uh, I haven't been able to do work on the trailer. Um, typical uh, post preseason work on the trailer. Um, with the uh, painting and uh, re-gluing laminate and such and uh, so I've, I've been looking for something else to do and uh, I come up with a uh, LED upgrade for some of the lights up in the lounge and I thought I'd shoot a video about that um, before I start that though um, every once in a while I get a question about how I mount my camera, you know, every once in a while. And I just want to show you this real quick. <laughs> there it is. Piece of duct tape on, on whatever surface I can find, everyone. You know, just, just so the thing will get steady. Like that. Okay. So... We are working on a Thin Light Corporation Model 21, 712XL. And this is a uh, 12 volt fluorescent fixture. I'm sure they're, they're popular in RVs and such. Um, hold on. That's a ugly back here. <clears throat> so, um, <clears throat> I found these uh, Lowe's. They're a Utilitech 0406066 um, expansion kit. And they are an expansion kit for. Where is that thing? Well, anyway. And what it is, is it's a two LED strips with self-adhesive tape on the back. And then it's got uh, two of these in there. And what we're going to do is we're going to strip all the fluorescent guts out of this and lay these in it because uh, replacing the tubes in these are... Uh, time-consuming and actually fairly expensive so once we get the LEDs in we'll never have to mess with this again okay to begin with I've already done one so I know where we're going we're gonna drill this rivet this rivet that rivet that rivet that rivet and that rivet. We're going to drill those rivets out. We're using an eighth inch, one eighth inch diameter drill bit. haven't taken the tubes out of this yet just to see if I can save a little bit of time. It would probably be safer, but I haven't, uh, I haven't even removed the diffuser yet. Okay. Yeah, the bit's probably kind of dull. Alright. So that's that. Okay, now we take the diffuser out. Come on. Alright, make sure that's clean before you put it back together. 
here's the vacuum tubes and the garbage. Okay, we're going to save. We're going to save this piece that's in the middle that covers all the circuit board. Here's your circuit board. Okay, and this little guy, this this little insulator, we're through with it too. And there's some there's some dielectric grease in there because there's a uh, this it's probably a a, a voltage regulator. Um, anyway, that thing probably generated some heat, and they put that heat sink paste in there. So you're gonna need a rag, okay? And then there's two wires. You notice once we get all this out. There's only one wire here, and you got to disconnect that from that switch. We'll just pull the switch out because we got to do a little bit of massaging on it too. Come on. Get a screwdriver. All sorts of chaos going on in there. It's, uh, during the off season, shit gets kind of crazy. Stuff being stripped and refinished, and cabinets being emptied and refilled. And radio systems being swapped out. All sorts of crazy shit going on in there. So we're going to get the switch out. <coughs> come on. Come on. You don't want to be too aggressive. Because you got to reuse this switch. Alright. So. Two wires. We're going to disconnect the one that went to the circuit board. There's that. So what you're left with is the housing. One wire in the switch. Alright. I'm going to reinstall the wire on the switch. <coughs> and then reroute it back in. But we're not going to pop it back in the hole just yet. <coughs> this uh, if you're a hacker there's a lot of I'm sure there's a lot of uh, stuff you can play with there there's yeah capacitor big old diode a couple of uh, caps another diode and like I said the voltage regulator right there this this thing takes 12 volt DC and steps it up to whatever voltage those uh, fluorescent tubes need. Alright, let's wipe this thing out real quick. clean surface for these uh, uh, LED strips to uh, adhere to and the whole idea of this operation is to eliminate having to go in here again so you want everything clean you don't want those strips falling out Walking around, making noise while you're going down the road, giving kids something to reach up and play with. Let's just get this out. 
and this product is uh, Kent Automotive Acrosol. We use it to degrease paint right before we apply more paint. It's it's a real good cleaner. You can use you know if you ain't got that you can use uh, alcohol or Windex just. Get it clean so that uh, your uh, LED strips will uh, stick to it. Reference real quick. This reflector, all it does is the four rivets that we did not drill out. It's going to live. It actually just pinches under those rivets like that. Okay. The LED strips are going to lay right here and right here. Okay. Um, I generally, you know, you got to take it out get that circuit board out. I just leave it out until I've got all my wiring done. It's the last thing I put back in before I reassemble it. So. Alright, so Utilitech 0406066 is what I'm working with. Losing a finger. Go, go, come on. Uh, your anti social modern packaging. One. these guys, okay? These tags are going to be in the way, so I'll just cut them off. closely they're polarized there's a plus and a minus okay and then the little connectors have a little arrow on them okay so I simply line the arrow up with the plus okay now because I don't want to have to go inside these things again. The uh, the little connectors aren't really designed. There's no locking 
action per se so I've got some white vinyl uh, electrical tape and we're gonna improve the connection the the physical connection here make this thing wanna stay together get some adhesion involved okay, there's one all right, so now here again, we're going to make sure we get them polarized right. Okay, so we want the arrow to line up with plus. Okay. There. Once again, we're going to put some tape on. And then we're going to, uh, what's next? Yeah, I'm gonna add a wire. Actually, we've got to add two wires now to think about it. Okay, also, these, these, these connectors are just long enough to do what we need to do, so you're gonna have to kind of pre bend them. Now this connector <coughs> is where we interface the wiring system on whatever we're, we're putting this in. We're going to have to cut one end of it off. I'm sorry, yeah. I need this length, so we're, we're going to sacrifice one of those connectors. Okay. I like to run the 12 volts through the switch, so we're going to, the arrow's on this side, and you see that wire goes there, so we're going to take this, Thank you. 
Make sure your crimps are good. Give them a little tug. Alright, and this one we're going to strip. And let's see. Now I'm thinking about it. Okay, just, 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 oh, I'm going to say, yeah. Yes, I'm using red wire that's going to end up being ground. And the black wire that's going to end up being the power wire, apparently. It would seem. Uh oh, I haven't done enough research. I know this works, so. Okay, and, and understand these are 12 volts. Everything I'm working on here is 12 volts. This is not something you're doing in your house. This is something you're doing in your RV or your boat. Any, anywhere you find these thin lights before you go looking to replace them. Um, I'm showing you how to just upgrade them to LEDs. Okay, these uh, these LEDs were fifteen dollars at Lowe's. And if I'm not mistaken, this this light assembly itself, brand new in the box, is like sixty dollars. So, anyway, so now we've got uh, our arrows lined up with the positive. Tape that again. And all this tape does is, I mean, everything's well insulated, but the, like I said, there's no positive locking feature. And I just don't want to have to open this thing up again for something stupid like a wire coming loose. Okay, now. We can start mocking this up. Okay. And so That's kind of what it's going to look like once I get it all. Yeah, let's just do that. There we go. All right, so. <clears throat> this is a little bit of a challenge here because. Oh, uh, I taped over the. <laughs> yeah, that's. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> Generally, the way I like to do this. Is just get uh, a couple of inches of this adhesive exposed to begin with. You don't take the backing all the way off just yet. So I'm gonna take about two inches of it off, like that. Okay, and then you're gonna. See if you like the positioning. And get get the LED so that you get the most light coming out of the housing. Alright. And straight. And we'll push down the one end. Okay, so that's stuck now. 
and you're going to pick this up for a minute and then pull your tape loose just to the point where it'll you can get to it. You're going to lay this thing back down flat and straight and then just pull the tape out. Push it down. Keep pulling on the tape. There. Okay, and that one is stuck. Okay. Now I screwed up and I didn't pull this tape off before I put the tape on the ends, so we're going to make a little cut right here. So that's what the install insta the installation of the LEDs. They're now stuck in there. Okay. Now what we got to do is get the switch back in. Okay. And because of the uh, angle of the dangle on some of this stuff, you have to bend this spade a little bit. Bend the terminal on the switch a little bit. strips where we had two fluorescent lights before. They are wired to the switch. And we have two wires coming out of the housing. We're going to go ahead and inspect our little reflector, make sure that it's fairly clean. And then we will reinstall it. Okay. And then we will eventually reinstall the dot fuser. So this is ready for installation. So let's uh, let's step inside and see what we can do here at home. Ah, that one's here too. All right, so I got my light. Driver, I got my dock user. What else do I need? I need wire nuts in there and the truck. Oh, no. Here we go. Yeah, it's total chaos. See, right here we're uh, doing body work and replacing laminate. There's a four by sheet of laminate. See this crap falling down? Yeah. So, <clears throat> here's one that's already working. 